Greetings everyone, welcome back to Blade Bias. In spirit of the video that I uploaded yesterday, which if you watched that, thank you, check out what one of my friends got me. They did what we call in the industry uh, an epic gamer move and got me what is going to be the first of my new vinyl collection. I've wanted to collect vinyls for a really long time just because I love the album cover uh, art that goes on them and then the records themselves and then listening to them even though I don't have a record player yet. I want to have a whole setup but that's pretty cool and I wish I had that when I was filming the video that I talked about Clancy because it would have been fun to hold it up and stuff. Anyway, that little shout out aside, today is a video that I have long, 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 long feared. If you've asked me in the past, Ethan, you should do a tutorial on this trick or you should tell me how you do this trick. I've probably responded with something along the lines of, no, I am terrible at tutorials, which is true. I really just don't enjoy explaining battle song tricks and I'm especially not good at them. I think you've seen in the past that I've struggled with doing coherent training uh, tutorials, not training, tutorials of certain tricks just because I'm not very good at explaining things. I'm barely able to do the tricks myself competently, so explaining them to someone else doesn't really work. The problem is my most requested thing lately, for whatever reason, besides can you check out X Ballast Song that I just don't want to check out, like the C116 on Amazon, that's a good one. Um, it has been, the most common comment has been, how do you do that fan to choker fan thing that you do? I've had people ask me for slow-mos, I've had people ask me for videos, I've had people ask me to, for tutorials, and my answer has always been, I'm not good at tutorials, and more importantly, I can't explain how I do this, because it just kind of started happening one day, and I just kind of went with it. But that comment has become so prominent that like at this point, I'm like, okay man, I'm just going to try it so that I have something to show people when they ask me, because I don't even know how this is going to go. I am going to be terrible. I'm already terrible at, at tutorials, and I don't even know how I did this in the first place. I don't know how I learned it. I can't give you any tips that help me, because I, I don't know. So I'm going to try my best. The first thing, you need to know three things to be able to do this. You need to know how to fan, obviously. You need to know how to choker fan, obviously. But a little less obviously, you need to know how to stop your fan and reverse it. Just like that. Stop the fan, reverse it, and keep it in a sort of flat open pattern like that. And that, if you can't do that, is literally just, hey, I'm grabbing it with my thumb. Normally when you fan, you grab it with your thumb and you, you torque that way. Now we're going to stop it with our thumb, we're going to torque the other way. And sometimes that involves shaking your wrists uh, backwards a little bit if you want to keep it going. But usually, if you get good enough at it, you can just do like a single a single backwards twist, and that will get you enough momentum to get you to the end of the trick. So, those are the most important things. Specifically with the choker fan, I want you to do the Will Hirsch variation. I know as much as that makes people cringe, uh, I, I say people, as much as that's going to make the more advanced flippers watching this video cringe. Really, the only thing that you have to know of the choker fan is how to spin the ballast song in between your middle and your ring finger. Just like that. And then what to do afterwards. So, to start out, we're just going to do a normal fan. Get used to how that feels and get used to stopping it and closing it or stopping it and bringing it into a different position. Because that is what we are going to do. We're going to basically stop and reverse the momentum of the ballast song itself. But at the same time, we're going to turn our wrist downwards. What that's going to do is that. If you don't move your thumb or your index finger, you, when you stop the ballast song, and then you kind of do that twisting motion to get it going into a different fan, you're kind of combining this backwards motion with your thumb with this downturn of your wrist, and it will create that effect. And if you get that kind of fan to get going, then you know, then you're on your way to doing it. Because this is the same thing as this. It's just, you're not moving your thumb and your index finger. So get used to that. I want you to fan, 
stop the fan and kind of do the same motion as you would if you were reversing the fan, but at the same time, tilt the balisong down and turn your wrist from facing up to facing down. You can see when I, when I do this, the balisong already kind of fans like that, you know? I have it up, I turn it, okay. I have it up, I turn it down. Do you see how it kind of kicked out like that? You want to get used to that. So have your balisong, you know, open like this so that the blade is straight out. Wrist up, wrist down. And if you get that little spin, then you're on your way. You just have to do that out of a fan. You stop the fan, and then you turn your wrist upside down. And then you kind of get that flourish. Now what's going to change, if you want to do a specific choker fan from that fan, is you are going to press your thumb, you're going to move your index finger, and you're going to use your thumb to press the handle in between your middle and your ring finger, just like you would a normal choker. So I'm stopping the balisong, turning my wrist upside down, getting that spin, but then I'm also pushing the balisong in between, in between there, you know? I'm transferring it so it's rolling, I'm moving my, my index finger out of the way. I'm rolling it along my middle finger until it reaches in between my ring and my middle finger. And at that point, I can continue into the normal choker fan that you can do from the Will Hirsch variation, just like that. And that's basically it. It's kind of all about just kind of getting used to that motion because the faster that you fan... And the faster that you can reverse fan, the more that you're going to be able to get momentum into that choker fan to get it to go longer and faster. And this really was just something that I started doing one day, and I've, I haven't really practiced it. It's just something that I've gotten more spin on as I've tried it. So it's something that you're probably going to have to work at over a longer period of time, unless you're just goaded, I guess. So one more time for the people in the back, we're going to fan... We're going to stop the fan, and we're going to act like we're going into a reverse fan. But at the same time, we're going to kick our wrist from facing up to facing down. While that's happening, while you get that spin, if you get that spin, you're good. You're going to roll the balisong from your index to your middle. Move your index out of the way. Keep rolling it until it's in between your ring and your middle, and then continue the fan until the end whatever you want to do you could even catch it in an ice pick maybe if i can learn nope i need to keep going a half turn more than that like that there we go and it's pretty cool and it's epic and uh yeah i'm sorry that's my attempt at explaining it I'm um, dog shit at tutorials. I wish I could do tutorials because it would genuinely open up like a very large pool of content that I could do, but I don't enjoy them and I don't think I'm good at them. So I'm going to leave the people who are much better at that kind of stuff to teach that stuff. But if it means that people have something to watch instead of asking me to do something that I don't think I'm capable of doing, then here you go. Hope it helps, I guess. Yeah, I don't really know. Sorry, guys. Anyway... Let me know if you have any questions in the comments, uh, and if you need a slow-mo, I guess, maybe I'll put one somewhere in my Discord or something. I don't know, man. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and I seriously hope this helped at least one person. If it didn't, I tried, I guess. <laughs> like I said, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. <sighs> I'll see you in the next one. Later.